Hey yo yo yo, what is up guys? It's your boy here, Bia Ragnar. You know what it is? We back at it again with another brand new video. And this time around, it's our prediction video, guys. Um, you know, uh if you're new to the channel, you know, like and subscribe, click on the share button because you guys are fucking amazing, yeah. Oh my god, fuck my brother. So today we're gonna be looking at a top top finalist. Like, yo, when I saw the list, guys, I was shook it. Like, no care, I was like, Geesh! you know. Some guilds, you know, as expected, performed, they did the most, and then some other guilds were like, what? They didn't make it. How? And like I said, a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of newcomers trying to say, hey, yo, guys, if given a chance, we can be a force to be reckoned with. Like, it was just crazy, it was insane. And then this weekend, we're gonna see the final and see the winners who's gonna claim. 60k diamonds, that's like 15k diamonds per player, bro. That's like a lot of diamonds, guys. You know how much that diamond can do to your people account and your evil guns. So, yeah, without much to say, um, we're gonna jump right in the video. But before that, please do go follow my socials on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. And then our first in the list is OG, like old gravity has been flipping amazing this moment, you know, clearing squad back to back. And then even though you know they had a fair, fair share of L's here and there, you know, bumping to squad, uh rush gun wrong or whatever it may be, but they've been wiping squad, you know, and this time they came out really ascending, you know. Did the most uh a booyah in one in the one booyah out of the three games and then uh nice placement points and kills in the other two games, which I believe they do stand a chance to win the final ball. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think oh gravity can win this? No cup and take that 60,000 diamond. It's a lot of points, but it, they're proving what they are, of course, to be reckoned with. You know, insane accuracy, like OP team work. Like this, this guild understands each other. The chemistry is amazing. This is one of the three guilds that I suppose if they make it to the final, you know, the chemistry will be crazy insane. Like the teamwork is it's just amazing, guys. Like they stick together, they know when to rush, they know when to calm down. They know when to push, they you know they want to know when to retreat, you know. They've been amazing. And then coming up on our other list is Collions. You know, on our previous game, we didn't uh before the Collions actually, uh we're still on OG. Let's see, this is OG taking on red yet. Uh this fight is actually insane. Like honestly, it was a close call with red trainer, you know. With was it red uh ghost trainer dollar uh 1v4 clutch. But OG is like nah fam, this booyah is ours. We got this shit in the bag, you know. So yeah, like, um, I don't know, I don't know because like I said, it's been surprising. The final has been the summer final. The play for the summer final has been surprising. A whole lot of guilds, like your gun smokers, your slam ass, your offline. They, like what? These are like heavy hitters guild, you know? And then looking at our second guild in the lineup, Collions. I don't know if they can win this thing. But like I said, I'm, I honestly, be my prediction right now is kind of skeptical because now I'm, this guild has said, hey yo, we are capable, like we are capable of taking this cup if given the opportunity, you know. Like Collions, I really didn't see much of them in the uh, quarterfinals, but it really came strong in the semifinal, clutching a booyah and you know, some OP, uh, some OP gameplay right there. So this is the team right here, they, they play safe and steady, you know, stick together all the time. They rush only when it's needed to rush, they don't just make stupid mistakes in rushing, you know, nice and slow there. So, do Don Kalyan have the opportunity to take this thing? I don't know, man. But they are pretty much, you know, a solid team sticking together. Coming up on our number three list is Red. Uh, this game definitely showed why they should be a force to be reckoned with. You know, they stuck together the whole time, as usual, taking their normal spots, which is our shipyard. So, if any guild is watching this video right now, plans on landing in the shipyard and the final, be careful and be wary of Red because they really showed what they're capable of. In the semi final, you know, and it's six games, guys. Six games, top guild, one winner, 60k diamonds. Who can be the winner, guys? It's it's you know, it's insane. But red really came through, you know, they actually like did the most. I'm actually like impressed on their gameplay because I thought they were capable of anything gonna call up on them because they actually really they didn't really put on much a show. But then I saw the lineup and their you know substitution. I'm like wow actually it's gonna be a perfect entertainment on Saturday. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Look at the Red Ghost they're doing his thing like this like one of one of the heads that will be hitters will be Red Ghost. I mean the guy has OP insane accuracy 
capable of clutching 1v4 uh red gx4 as well and red gx4 1v4 a good player you know intense always one one to say the iron on the target did not let go until the target is down so do they have the capability of winning the finals mm, i don't know guys i don't know it's 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 you know it just it's a it's a any man's land if i'm putting it that way any man's game right now you know like the semi-finals did show a lot of perspective a lot of you know um angles to view this whole tournament like ss actually have an op guild you have like an op you have a lot of op guild you know capable of doing the most and with this being said with guilds like this pulling up doing the most in finals do we think you know we can get our own uh pro league to actually see the entertainment pool i mean with this talent on stream right now i think it's only fair we have a pro league whereby this player competes and they show they made up and then coming up on number four the qualified to the uh finals is four brothers i mean like four brothers have been phenomenal throughout this tournament they've been these like these underdogs that came from nowhere and they you know surprising even us you know the content because i'm like whoa this guild is what this guild is like you no know, they're doing the most strategically you know placing their players don't really, really need to rush unless they need to rush look at the global placement guy. look look at that strategic rush honestly i thought in this game uh hina 2 was gonna wipe them out but no like four brothers came strong and destroyed the whole of hina 2 which is insane like we, we saw hina 2 doing open things in the quarterfinals and they are here going you know face off uh standing off with uh four brothers and unfortunately hina 2 didn't survive that ordeal look at four brothers doing the most although they were so close to winning the match but i do believe you know even if they might not win the final but at least they won't win the final but if they don't win the final but i believe they're gonna give the players on those six maps a hella hard times in that final it's gonna be maza guys what a maza is what a maza is <laughs> oh yeah so um yeah this is uh 4b goats doing open we saw 4b goats in the set and uh quarter finals dealing with doing heavy damage on gun smokers the strategy playing this was quite amazing and then coming up on number five they qualified to our final is skyhawks guys like i said if i was to choose between was it skyhawks and i think i was comparing skyhawks and uh was it out was it out so don't panic but then either way those three get actually made to the final so skyhawks actually is another team break on wheat and then you know they're also playing together doing the most you know this is a team that I actually saw almost 99.9% of players have OP accuracy like if they see you it's an automatic headshot you see Joe boy doing the OP things with Sky, Sky Adele you're gonna see him in action soon Sky centers like this dude they're quite insane like they've been declared I believe in this map they did clear out um was it them no it wasn't them but then they actually were amazing you know uh pushing together doing the op thing and then if you are to have a pro league which i believe you have a pro league soon i mean we should be worried of these guys like they are not so much of a you that ever look at the accuracy guys look at the accuracy there's no of you that everyone knows about but then definitely their accuracy can get them insane respect in ssa guys look at that headshot see me see you now see you no more that's what Skyhawk is all about. Honestly, I'm gonna play them as see you now, see you now, because if they see you once, you're dead because the accuracy is OP. And I believe this guy actually watched the Free Fire Watch series because he's pulling up for the charge buster OP moves and actually he put it up, you know. That gun is actually overpowered. It's a cheat, honestly speaking. Like after watching tournament and stuff, oh man, this charge buster is OP insane. And then this is Sky Adele. OP accuracy. Honestly, I thought it was gonna lose this match, but look at it. Saw him once and man was down, guys. That accuracy is insane. I mean, I mean, I mean. And then coming up on number six, that made it to our final is Panic. Don't panic. I actually call him Panic. Don't panic. So, Don't panic is a kid actually seen in, in Rack a couple of times. They're quite good, especially Panic Boogie. I believe he's gonna be the squad leader for this team. Look at that, guys. One touch. One touch, you know. And that was them wiping out the whole of Ohana in that guild and then here we see panic although they lost the challenge they lost the battle here but they did put up a fight they did do the most and then we see panic curry killing skyhawks there and yeah all those skyhawks and look at this look at the same teamwork guys always sticking together making sure leaving nothing to chance making sure all exits and entries are protected you know uh this is the game where 
uh, Penic took out a two full squads, strong squad that I thought they were going to make it to the final. They took out um, offline in that game as early as possible and they took off YDZ as well, which was OP. Uh, after doing, doing a whole lot of damage on YDZ, the last of offline player was able to, you know, finish off the last of YDZ, which automatically got them out early in the game. And then this, uh, yeah, and then looking at our number seven team that are coming in is pure. Pure skill. Actually, it's just pure skill that actually took out two squads in this game, guys. Pardon, pardon my commentator right there. So yeah, pure skill was, you know, I didn't really see much of pure skills in the quarterfinals, but they actually pulled through the semifinals, clutching in 11 kills as early as we killed. Her. Look at that already, 11 kills, and it's only it's only the first zone. It's in the five people alive. They actually another guild that if there's actually serious enough or strategy enough, they might actually pull up winning this tournament. Like I said. I cannot say this tournament only left to the heavy guild, but then they are capable. And then coming to number seven is FBI. Number, no, sorry, number eight rather. So we've gone uh, eight teams in FBI. Uh, although they didn't really have um, much of a good game in the first couple games here, but actually came to most like they had the first headshot, first kill, second headshot, second kill. This is nothing that insane OP accuracy, you know. So if they are two meet up with Skyhawks in this tournament I wonder who's gonna win and then honestly I feel like they wouldn't come look at the OP instant tournament this guy knows he's gonna die but he blew up the barrel the smoke barrel giving his teammates a chance to actually confuse the enemy like these are OP insane tactics you don't see on everyday run play on everyday tournament like I said this is an argument to reckon with and I'm actually glad we to the final because they are gonna put on a show for us look at that guys insane accuracy see you now see you no more that is the Skyhawks abbreviation but we'll see fbi doing the whole things uh, actually although they didn't really do very well in this game but they came into a lot of kills here yeah, and got a nice placement point strategically chilling you know taking positions to kill the enemy and then kali could have seen that glow i mean you can hear when someone throws a grenade or cooks a grenade right i can hear it so i was surprised he got down there but either way abdul did the most here yeah, and save point for the team as you can see man clutching on three kills uh giving the team five uh, five kills in which is good for them and then uh, they weren't lucky enough to get the booyah there I think they did get it one booyah if I'm not mistaken and then yeah that's about it so yeah we see Outlaws coming in at number number nine like Outlaws were really fantastic this game though. like men clutched the battle in this game and came out victorious look at them wiping the squad as early as possible and actually surprised if some of the first game outlaws were fighting pure skill and in the second game or so and i, I think it was in, it was in uh, purgatory and kalahari outlaws are fighting pure skill again this was outlaw against fbi so it's, it's safe to say pure skills and outlaws are actually nemesis in this game you know like they're always on their tail coming in at number 10 that, you know, that actually did the most here is excess you know they've been insanely amazing right from the the beginning they've been doing really well you know taking strategic strategy position you know not making silly mistakes sticking together uh do they have a chance of winning the final maybe maybe not i don't know but then yeah coming on number 11 the goated the fan favorites opw i mean this game they were so amazing you know it's like they knew where the zone was gonna be at every single time took strategic position and then this was where they wiped out super school and then kept on hammering on squad leaving nothing to chance protected all entries and exits like they had gun smokers against the wall and then gun smokers unfortunately eliminated as early as possible which you know this um the point they wrecked up in this game didn't really have much effect as they couldn't get to the finals uh, this is OP Royal, no boss is gonna come. Look at this man, can you even climb up this place, bro? Look at that. And then OP Snap clutching the kill there, OP, OP Owen doing the whole most things there. And then uh, I think they weren't lucky enough to get the Booyah, but they did the most and then they left us into chance. And this uh, map they got wiped up by uh, Grim Reapers, another force to break on, you can see pretty much. So does OPW have a chance of winning some match? Maybe, maybe not, you know? Uh, but then i'll say 60 percent yes because they've actually proven themselves and lastly we have grim reapers you know which uh it is i don't know what has happened there because i saw out um l2k gr l2k got his, his guild got wiped out and then it is a strategic move for grim Reapers to immediately recruit such a powerhouse l2k to their team you know this is where they wiped out the whole of opw like it was insane like that man is enough force to break on with so like with heavy heavy hitters like 
GR, OPW, Axis, FBI, uh, Four Brothers, OG, Collions, Red, Skyhawks, Don't Panic, Outlaws and Pure Steel. Like, it's gonna be a Maza in the tournament, guys. It's gonna be a Maza in the final. So, please tell me who do you think is gonna win this tournament. I mean, you just maybe may get a surprise if you are right all from me. Like, you guys have been amazing for the support. Let's go 3K. And then, yo. In my next video, I'll be making an analysis of the new updates. It's been OP, and then I'll be touching on a very, very sensitive topic of you know matters that have been going on in SSA. So thank you guys for watching. See my next videos. Ta-da!